What's up guys, Zach Scott here. You all seem to love my Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville guide videos, so here's one on how to find all three diamond gnomes in Weirding Woods. I'll also show you the Sir Bath boss fight at the end, but only if you watch this whole video. No skipping to the end is allowed. Like in Town Center, you'll want to talk to Sven on the other end of the ringing phone, and then go activate the gnome shrine in the center of the map. Next, return back to the phone to get the gnome locations. One gnome is really close to spawn near Camp Nera Lake, and it involves solving a sequence of puzzles. The best way to explain these puzzles is the left and top of the grid indicate how many lights are to be lit up in the respective row and column. For example, the first puzzle shows that there is only one light in each row and three lights in the first column. This means there are three lights total, with all of them being in that first column. Light them up, then move on to the next puzzle, which adds something new to the mix. It's still a 3x3 grid, and it's showing one light in the first row, none in the second, and three in the third. There's also one light in the first column, one light in the second column, and two single lights in the third column. These are presented in a new way. Instead of the two lights being together, it is one and one. This means there is a gap between the lights. Following that logic, there's a light in the upper right and one in the lower right, and the entire third row is populated. Fill it in in that manner and you'll reveal the third puzzle, which expands the size of the grid. The same logic remains, so rather than sound repetitive, I'll just show you that this is a solution. <laughs> the fourth and final grid is a huge 8x8 grid, but the same logic applies. I'll show you the solution, but the best hint I can give you if you're looking for a good starting point is the fourth row, which is 2, 2, and 2. That means 2 on, 1 blank, 2 on, 1 blank, and 2 on. If you have a big brain like me, you will get the solution and it will unveil the diamond gnome. The other two diamond gnomes require that you put the woods to sleep via a boombox. Once you do, you can shoot the hearts to enter the areas. The diamond gnome near the stirring swamp is a traversal challenge where you must climb through the treetops. I use the foot soldier to easily navigate to it and then collect it. The last diamond gnome is located near Z-Tech Factory. Once again, you'll need to activate the boombox. This will be a fight against the bomber knight and you cannot let the bombs explode. I'll show you my original gameplay so that you can follow along and see it in action. Is he throwing his fist at me too? All right, hold on. So you evaluate where the bomb's at. All right, hold on, hold on. We're, we're in dire trouble right now. Try to back up for a second. Try to get the bombs on the same page as us. I did nothing. Oh my god. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, hit him. I hit him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ow. And the bombs are over here now. I've got him about what? A third done? That didn't hit him at all. Oh god, that bomb's all the way over here. So that's a good idea. Super. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh god. Okay, there's a bomb over here. I mean, he's like halfway done. This ain't too bad, right? I see one bomb. There's a bomb guy coming at me. Jesus, what was that? All right, hold on one second. There's a crash in my house. Oh God, I'm almost dead. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta recover my health really quick. I just have to run from this guy really quick. in the air. Oh 
Okay, he's almost dead. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. All right. Once you have all three diamond gnomes, you are ready to return to the gnome shrine, open the door, and defeat Sir Baff. Once again, you're gonna wanna see me actually do it, aren't ya? So here we go, here's my fight against Sir Baff. I think I can go really hard in the beginning. Let's see if that's true. Get out of here. Oh, he's on the electricity. Stop it. How am I already this low? Why that hurt me? Heal up, dude. Heal up. Quiet is because I'm trying to figure out how to actually beat this. Oh my god. Stop it! Oh my god, it's freaking top! Got it. Oh my god, that top was so annoying. What the heck? No! Get out of here! Dang it, 
dude. Just heal, please. Just freaking heal. Alright, we're okay. Got something over there. What the heck did I get? Where's he going? Where's he going? Right over there. Oh my god. I right, got a whole bunch of gnomes out of the deal. Mine's all the way over here already. He's almost dead. If we just play this up nicely. We'll probably get this done really quickly. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sir Bap's almost dead. Sir Bap's almost dead. Oh my gosh, I got him. I free. Oh my. Oh my god. The Gnome Knight falls. Stop it with the electricity, please. Sir Bap has been vanquished. That took me forever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, indeed. Well, that is how you get all three diamond gnomes. Once you beat Sir Bath, all that's left for you to do is subscribe and then return to the phone so Sven can give you a reward, a universal hat. I'll see you next time for more. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.